Welcome back to the Fell Engine Project, where I'm building a 3.5 inch gauge live steam locomotive to my own drawings. On this episode, I start work on the way shaft. The first job is to ream out the brass bushings I made back in episode 4. If you missed that, check out the link in the top right hand corner. The hand reamer is used well lubricated and only turned in a clockwise direction. Once one side's done, I flip over the frame and do the other side. With that done, it's time to trial fit the way shaft. I'm using 4mm stainless steel rod for the way shafts. I remove the way shaft and then check the overall dimensions of the bushings. I then add the thickness of the way shaft arms to determine the final length. This is then cut with a hacksaw. With the ends cleaned up, it's time to finally fit it. Now it's on to the way shaft arms. Starting over at the mill, I set up a piece of 6mm plate on some parallels. The plate is then faced both sides with a 50mm carbide face mill. But the plate faced is then cut into smaller pieces for the individual way shaft arms. The cut plate is then located in the mill ready for drilling. I use the left hand edge of the vice jaws as a reference, having already zeroed the digital readout on that edge. I start drilling with a spotting drill, followed by a 4mm drill bit. This matches the stainless steel shaft. The other end of the arm then drilled 2.5mm for a M3 thread. To align the tap as I cut the thread, I use a spring tapping guide. Cutting oil is applied to the tap and then the thread cut. With the holes complete, the part is deburred before I drill a hole for the set screw. The hole is located using the digital readout. The set screw hole is going to be threaded M2.5 with the hole being drilled as previously firstly with a spotting drill followed by the tap size drill.
At this point the drill chucks change out for an ER32 collet chuck with a 10mm end mill. The rotary table is also located on the mill table with an MT2 arbor fitted similar to the one I used for the cam arms. The part is screwed to the arbor and I've added a strap clamp to stop the part rotating. The part is rotated 90 degrees creating the curved end. The x-axis is then unlocked and the side taper cut. The part is then rotated ready to cut the other side. At this point the strap clamp is refitted on the other side, then the final cut can be made. The part is then removed and finished with the hand file. It's then back to the mill setup where I cut the final material from the outside of the arm. With that complete, the arms can be fitted to the way shaft. In final assembly, the way shaft arms will be fitted with set screws and the shaft will have a flat ground in either end. That concludes the first part of the way shaft. There's still a few more parts we made in the future, but I think I'll be looking for an alternative way to make the arms, as the work holding was really quite difficult due to the limited area to clamp on. As these arms get smaller and in more complex shapes, it will only become less successful. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Catch you next time.